This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. I've um, got some big news. So like I said, I, I was sick with the Rona. I'm back. Show every day again, just like normal. Going to have a good one today. Going to get into this Usyk um, AJ Fury scenario. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow us on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing comes at you every day, 8, 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Box and Scene. Um, all proceeds uh, go to Autism Research Recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, we got the uh, AJ might take $15 million worth of step aside money and let the undisputed heavyweight title fight between Usyk and Fury go down. Um, I like this on a litany of levels. Um, a, we're gonna get. And I'm disputed heavyweight champion if it happens. B, AJ can't beat Usyk. So that's, you know, that's good for AJ. And he gets $15 million. And then he gets the winner, which will be Usyk. And then maybe he'll fight Usyk then. I don't know. Um, and you're going to get an amazing heavyweight fight, right? You're going to get two of the hot. Highest level, most skilled heavyweights we've had in years in Fury and Usyk. Now, obviously, I, 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 I'm giving a spoiler. I'm giving you who I think is going to win. I think Usyk outboxes him. I, I, I think at 6'9", 250, 260, Fury is a unicorn. I think at 270, 280 plus, I think he's too big and he's not as mobile as he is at 250. So I, I think Usyk gets in and out on him and beats him up, wears him down, and takes the decision off him. Um, you know, Fury can obviously hit. He's, he's obviously a puncher to degree, but he's not the puncher I don't think AJ is or or, or Dillian White is. I mean, or, or, or um, Wilder. So I, I don't think it's the same one punch knockout power, right? That, that the other guys have. That other guys have hit him with. So I, I don't think that the, the fear is there to get Usyk out, right? Like uh, I think Josh is a bigger hitter, and Joshua hit him clean. Uh, I don't think. Fury's going to get him out with one shot like other guys could. So, I really like this fight for Usyk. I think Usyk, his footwork, his, his punch output, his volume, his angles, I think it's going to be a little bit too much. I think it's going to dazzle Fury just enough to get get enough rounds. Right? I'd say he wins like an 8-4 decision here. It, it was a good fight, but I think just like Usyk clearly beat AJ, I think he's going to clearly beat Fury too. Uh, I was saying since he was a cruiserweight, I think Usyk – is the best heavyweight once he goes to heavyweight. People mocked me. People laughed at me. You can call Ness at the boxing voice. He thought that was ridiculous. Well, not so ridiculous, is it? Um, there's still things. That, okay, this is rumored. There's no confirmation that AJ is taking the step aside, but although it looks like he is. Additionally, Fury still may have to fight Dillian White. Okay. Um, that's going to purse bids. That's not going to have itself figured out till probably March. Um, he's Fury, uh, Fury White is in negotiations with WBC. That doesn't seem to be resolved until March. Um, that fight may have to come first. If that fight comes first, that stops everything. Cause I do think Usyk, I mean, I do think Fury beats White, although White would be a live dog in that fight. Um, Usyk gets sloppy. I mean, Fury gets sloppy and gets tagged. So, White could stop him, right? Uh, we've seen um, Fury drop four times now. Uh, five times now if you count Steve Cunningham, right? And he almost got stopped by Otto Valene a couple times, right? He got cut by a real bad, a rock bomb in the final round. So it's not like Fury, as good as he is, he's not unhittable. He gets cracked all the time. He gets hit with big shots, Um so White would have a chance, but I would pick Fury, and I think most people would. Uh, but if that fight happens, not only could White win, but it's also, we know that Fury doesn't fight more than once a year. 
right? He has to fight more than one good opponent once a year. Um, so he'd probably take that fight if he wanted. We probably wouldn't see him again for a year and a half. I mean, I'm just being honest, right? I mean, here's a guy since 2015, since he beat Usyk. I gotta stop doing this. Since, since Fury beat Klitschko, since he beat Klitschko in 2015, who's he fought? He's fought one good fighter. He's fought him three times, Wilder. But he took time off. He fought a bunch of tune ups, fought Wilder, fought a bunch of tune ups, fought Wilder, took a year and a half off, fought Wilder, and here we are. So I, this idea that Fury's gonna fight three or even two times a year seem, against good fighters. Seems a little far-fetched to me. He's been a champion for like four years. He's got one title defense. Guys, it's not a joke. He's got one title defense in his two reigns that span over four years. So to think that he's going to fight twice a year or three times a year against real opposition, it's not going to happen. Okay? So, guys, I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news. But if the WBC says, and I, I do want to add, it looks like White is okay with also stepping aside and then fighting the winner of this fight. Although I wouldn't be. Although Eddie Hearn's probably, you know, I don't know. If I were Eddie Hearn, I, I, I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Um, But Eddie Hearn's got to be pushing for him to get that fight. Um, unless he, he thinks he, he, he would rather have Fury fight Usyk than Fury. And he's assuming Usyk's going to win. And... Uh, I want to say something. I always said the Usyk fight was his first heavyweight fight in Chicago. The first fight is heavyweight when he fought Chaz Wilson in Chicago. And in the post fight press conference, I asked Eddie Hearn, I said, Can Usyk beat any heavyweight? He said, Yes. I said, Any heavyweight. Talking about AJ, he said, Yeah. Okay. So that was not a surprise to Eddie Hearn. What also wouldn't be a surprise if Usyk beat Fury. So is it possible that Eddie Hearn would rather? White fight Usyk for the undisputed heavyweight crown? Then to fight Fury for the WBC? It's possible. I don't know. Speculation. Um, so what I'm saying is this fight is looking like it might be good. It's looking like this might be on the horizon. There are still things that are can stand in the way of it. One thing is AJ doesn't take the money. And he says, no, I want the fight. But he's entitled to. If I was Usyk, I would I would not do that in the UK under no circumstances. We fight in the UK. I'm the champion. We fight where I want to fight. Um, second is this WBC and Dilly White thing. Dilly White is long overdue for a title shot. He's, he's, he's earned and he's deserved a title shot. I don't know that he's going to want to wait this out. He's waited an incredibly long time. So those are kind of the two things that can still stand in the way of this. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe to 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Please share. Also, Texas Boxing Scene, the other channel, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, please help us get that up and running. Subscribe to that channel as well. Share that with a friend. Um, it is December. Uh, it is January 24th, 2022. Um, Ivan Calder is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. He better get in 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.